I've been traveling around for the last year working remote in different cities and countries and today we're in Barcelona and we're gonna be looking at apartments. So if you're new here, I've done videos like this in a bunch of different cities now as I've been traveling. I have Chicago, San Diego, Austin, Texas. For me, House Hunters International is like top tier television. Okay, I love that show. I just think it's so interesting to see what you can get at different price points in other countries, but also just what like houses and apartments and condos can look like in other places and just like seeing the inside. Just to give you a little bit of background on Barcelona, it's the second most expensive city real estate wise in Spain. Madrid is number one, but what I found is Barcelona is actually significantly cheaper than Madrid. It's like kind of shocking. It's one of the few major European cities to combine city living with beach living. I've gone twice now and I've spent a total of, I wanna say about three or four weeks there now in Barcelona. Now that I've been there like a, uh, you know, more than just like a few days. It does have the city feel. It's pretty small though. I would say it feels similar to like Portland where you definitely after, you know, a couple weeks you like you've seen most of it. That's how Barcelona feels to me. So if you're looking for like a big city, I think Madrid is definitely the way to go. There is like a big Barcelona Madrid rivalry, just FYI. So no one in Barcelona says good things about Madrid. Madrid doesn't care about Barcelona is the vibe that I get. But personally, I loved Madrid. It reminds me of like a Spanish version of London a little bit. And if I was choosing a place to live in Spain, I think I would go for Madrid over Barcelona just because it's a little bit bigger, but just depends what you like. Barcelona is definitely more beachy I mean, there's water, you're on the coast. Both of them are incredible. I think you should visit both. Barcelona has a population of about 1.62 million and it's actually the third largest startup hub in Europe. It's home to close to about 2000 startups. So it was really hard to find statistics on like the average rent prices for Barcelona, but here's what I found to be most accurate. It seemed like on average, looking at like 10 different articles about this. Here's what you may expect the rents to be in Barcelona, but I'm gonna link resources down below if you wanna look more into this. I'm gonna be speaking in euros, but it's about right now the conversion rate is about the same so it's pretty similar to us dollars but super depends on the neighborhood i have heard from people there and some of these articles i was reading that it's getting significantly harder and like it's pretty hard right now to find an apartment for rent there and there's a few different factors i'm not going to get into all of it you can read the articles i'll link down below if you're like curious about all the factors, but here's some of them. In Catalonia, in the last 10 years, the residential prices rose about 21.7% in the last decade. Definitely depends on the different neighborhoods. We're gonna be looking at a couple of the most popular, which are El Born and Gothic Quarter. Gothic Quarter is like where you probably have gone if you're visiting for a couple of days. And Bourne seems like it's definitely just across the board one of the most desirable neighborhoods to live in. So I will have all the properties I looked at today listed down below if you wanna see the specs. I think they're all still up for sale right now. I actually filmed this a couple months ago, but right now they're all still up for sale. So obviously it's not like as quick of a market as some other cities that you may be used to. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and this series. If you do while you're watching, you can give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna stick around and see more of these, you can always subscribe if you want to, but here we go. Okay, so property number one, the electricity wasn't available to be turned on, so it was pretty dark in there, so I apologize for the blurry footage, but this was massive. Like, literally, this was for like a full family, it felt like, it was very large. Definitely felt there just wasn't great natural lighting, except in the living room, which was friggin' insane with that view, but super big. I'm sure someone will like completely remodel this and it'll be incredible. What you could do is like knock down that wall between the kitchen and the living room and just make like a really beautiful open concept kitchen with that view of the cathedral, it would be insane. At that price point, it was already pretty high priced relative to other things. I just thought it was a little bit high to also do like a full remodel on. But if you were a family of four, obviously a little bit different. You can see the style here is just like very minimal, all the same, just hard flooring throughout and really just kind of like boxy rooms, but they were very large. So again, ton of potential if you were a family and needed like a ton of space in a really good area. This is so cool. They try to keep all the details, wow. the details of the of the, um, of the Original, building. Yeah. I, I like how 
Ooh, pretty. Okay, so property two, I think was one of my favorites. This one had character. It still felt like when they remodeled it, they kept some of the character there. The original brick walls are still in here. And then I loved the beams in this one. They did a really cute job with the bathroom. Like it looks modern, but there's still that old character and charm. And the feel of this one was nice, even though it wasn't super bright you did feel like this cozy kind of vibe. I usually am a big fan of like a ton of natural lighting, but you do get that in the couple bedrooms. There, there was pretty good lighting. It wasn't like incredible. It's the pre-installation for the washing machine and the dryer yeah, okay. machine and also the boiler. I love the tile they used. The kitchen is right in the middle of the unit. So when you first open the front door, you see the kitchen to your left. The oven. Uh, the structure, the space. Oh, for a pantry. The, the refrigerator. Oh, okay. The refrigerator. There wasn't a ton of counter space, but there was good storage and drawers. But I think this one had a room for a dishwasher, but didn't come with one. So the idea is you enter the dining room, uh -huh. the kitchen, and here the living room. It's bigger than I thought. Yeah, and this is the original wall. They found the, all the stone. This was a good sized room. Love the original stone and these wood beams are just beautiful. It's in both of the bedrooms and I mean, I think it's throughout the whole apartment actually. And then you even have a little balcony here. The door opens up out to you. You are facing inwards and this unit had AC. It does get really hot in Barcelona in the summer. I was there. So definitely AC is needed and useful. These are support beams of steel. A storage room. Oh, wow, that's huge. Yeah, it's huge. It's really huge and really useful. <laughs> yeah, really because, deep too. Yeah. You could put like shelves. One thing that's huge is they have a pretty big rooftop for like similar buildings from what I've seen. They have a rooftop, they have a little shower out there. So when it gets super hot in the summer, she was saying people lay out and then you can rinse off so you don't get too hot. AC machines. Okay. You know? And there is uh, Oh, solar panels. Solar panels. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. And there were solar panels up there, so that's definitely a cool thing to have a rooftop. New remodels do that? Yeah. Oh, cool. Are the solar panels common? Yes, in, oh. in the new ones, it's very usual. Okay. So I loved this one. This was definitely one of my favorites, but let's see property three. Oh my God, this is huge. Wow. Okay, wait till you see this unit. This was insane. So again, pretty dark in here because it was a cloudy day and also the lights are off at this point. But this kitchen, look at this, like very high tech, luxurious, has all of the, you know, good appliances. And look at this vent. I thought it was a TV. To take the smoke out. Yeah, wow. That's <laughs> fancy. Never yeah. seen one like that. Oh, nice dishwasher. Tons of drawer space and these drawers were very deep so you could use it for food storage whatever and then there were two huge closets so this was like right to the left of where you walk in so you could have your coat closet you could put your shoes boots whatever and then you could use this one for an actual pantry massive open living room with these big windows and doors that go out to a little balcony and then here's a little area where it could be like a little office space probably that's what the people before used it as and this was a really dark gloomy day we were touring these but i'm pretty sure the sun would be like pouring in here normally with these huge windows i don't know what's happening with these flashing lights by the way these felt to me like at least 14 foot ceilings even taller because it felt taller than my last seattle loft they had these beautiful wooden beams on the ceiling and then nice floors. Love how they remodeled the bathroom, kept it like really modern with the super tall shower and the black iron and then the wood throughout. Here was one of the bedrooms. This one did not have a built-in closet, so they added that. But if you walk out here, at the very bottom, they kept the rock because there's four rows of an ancient Roman wall. That is wild. So walking through to the second bedroom, back out to the living room. Here there are two more bedrooms. Let's hear these bathrooms. Here's the second bathroom. This one did have a tub and seemed like more of the master bathroom. This one was a little bit bigger. They had this hall closet space, which was nice for storage. Looks like these were two kids, kids' bedrooms. Given how big the rest of the apartment was, the bedrooms were definitely pretty tiny compared to, you know, just how massive like the living room was, but this one had a nice built-in closet. Yeah, that's cool how they did tile out there, yeah. but still kept the rock. In the ground, there is one part from one Rome, Roman. Oh, wall. wow. Yeah, you, you can see, cool. you can see in, in the ground. There are 
stones like this, you uh -huh. know, one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, yeah. And these ones are from the Roman age. Whoa. This one felt like luxury. I mean, you take an elevator up and the elevator just opens to your unit. This was huge and for the price point and for having three bedrooms and in the location it is with the view from the patio like this i'm surprised this is still on the market the photos don't do it justice the video doesn't do it justice it was massive super open super like high tech it felt luxury i feel like for that price like when you think about when you look at this it's all relative right depending on where you're from what country you're from what the average salary is in that country coming from the us like this kind of price points around 640,000. that price point for this kind of unit in most cities like most nice cities you would just never be able to find like a three bedroom that was this massive for that price point and like newly renovated in the elevator i mean wouldn't happen pretty incredible It feels bigger than I thought. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> the tall ceilings. So I love the location of this one because you're close enough to Gothic Quarter and to like walking to the cathedral and all that, but you are also super close to the water and the marina area. So really nice modern kitchen. You have the refrigerator included. And this one came with all of the appliances and was fully furnished and has a dishwasher. Hell yeah. Also love like the gold finishes and sink and stuff. Got some storage space down below, trash built in, and then look at these nice, super tall, again, lofted ceilings. So that's the original rock, they just painted over it. Yeah, and also the same to, to the beams. Yeah. The, the ceiling. <laughs> I like the beams. And this is the original floor, and it's, it's in a very good condition because sometimes there is this kind of, of original floor, but it's not in this good. How old is it? It's one, 100. So even though this apartment is pretty tiny, there was two full baths because it has that shower in here. It was very tight, very narrow, but it's there. And then walking back, you have the bedroom. There's technically two bedrooms. Oh, I love the brick. <laughs> That's cool. It's nice. Cozy. Does that window go into? Yeah, go oh, to uh, here. Oh, this is nice. Right. Oh, nice. Light. They kept the window through the bedroom, which is nice to give some extra light into the shower area. Oh, I like this a lot. So in the same area as the vanity, to the right here you have the closet. So this is technically the closet for the bedroom. So it's kind of in, I mean it is in the bathroom, but there were some other closet options as well in the hallway. And I think you could probably add some like racks and stuff. Like right here you could add, you know, a coat rack or whatever for some extra space or even built in some storage spaces but they had some right here like really nice deep here's technically the second bedroom i think they're marketing this to fit four people it's unlikely that a family of four would buy this it's just very small she said that the people before probably had this as like an office be a perfect office space See that? Oh. <laughs> i'll run out quick it's okay this was my favorite part so out of that office slash bedroom too you have a completely covered private patio here so no one can see in living in such close quarters to your neighbors it's rare to have an area where no one can see you and i loved how like secluded this felt just picture drinking your coffee out here in the morning when it's not raining i love how they painted the walls white around it but i was just picturing this with like string lights and just sitting out there with your coffee in the morning really nice that it's like totally private it had an interesting layout but the balcony and the way this unit faced was really nice because what can happen a lot of times in the Gothic Quarter is because the streets are so tiny and the buildings are so close to one another, even if you have big windows, sometimes the building can just be right in front of it and just blocks all of the light. And the way this one was positioned was actually in between, it was like on the on a corner where the street split. So you actually have a ton of natural light, no windows blocking it. And again, on like a nice sunny day, this would be unreal. All right, so out of all these, my top ones were number two and number four. I think if I was getting one of these or renting one of these, I would definitely go for two or four. Both of them just had a good feel to it. I feel like it was like a perfect amount of space for me. There was good storage. I love that number four was fully furnished so you wouldn't have to worry about that. 
I think you could probably, like if you are someone who's moving from abroad or something, a lot of places you can just ask if they are willing to sell it fully furnished and sometimes they are. So even if it's not like advertises that, they may be able to. If you're curious what you can find in Barcelona or in Madrid, you can always look at Idealista. That's like the main site that they use. But I always just think it's so fun to see what it's like in other countries. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting or helpful. If you're considering moving or you're just curious what the units look like there. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. I'm looking outside right now. I'm in Edinburgh right now when I'm filming the, the talking part of this video and it is sunny and it hasn't been sunny the entire time I've been here. So I'm like, all right, gotta get outside. Gotta go enjoy this minute of sunshine here. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.